Hey guys, it's Tepco Psych Repair. Today's tech tip is going to be on starter solenoids. So this starter solenoid is a uh, two-wire solenoid. It actually has two wires that connect to it in addition to the um, power wire and the starter wire. So on um, these solenoids here, you have the positive here going to your battery. So I have this lead going to my positive here. I have my ground right here on this particular one. It uses a ground wire that plugs on here. I have that running to the ground. The test light here I have running from the negative here to the positive side here and all that's going to do is if this works properly 12 volts so should be going from here to here and it'll light that light up so you can see it. This is a bad solenoid so I'm going to show you what to look for. So this side here on this particular one is, a, is the switch wire so when you turn it to start it sends power to this which connects the um, solenoid and it allows power to go from here 12 volts to here which goes to your starter. It's a real simple setup. Now if you don't have four wires like this, you're always going to have a switch wire and your ground, sometimes it uses the terminal, so you would hook this ground there. Alright, so we got positive, negative, test light, this is what the 12 volt should be going to, and then here's our jumper, so this is basically our key switch. You'll hear it click, but what we want to see is when this clicks, I want to see that light come on, and it's, this one is broken, so let me show you how, what happens. Alright. You can hear it clicking because it's trying to. So it's clicking, but it's not connecting to power. It's not turning my light on, which would tell me that it's sending power here. This is a bad solenoid. This is what it looks like. So here's a good solenoid. Let me show you what happens when it works properly. So this one is only one wire. So here's our starter wire. Here's our ground going to this, positive going here. Here's the positive on the other side, which would be going to the starter. And let me show you what happens. Watch that light. Okay, that's a working solenoid. That's what it should be doing when it clicks. If you're not getting power to the other side, it's a bad solenoid. Order a new one up. Guys, you can do it on the mower itself as well. So this is the, this is the line going to the starter. Just put your test light here. Put it on the ground somewhere. Put the test light right here. Turn the key till it clicks and make sure you're getting power going to your starter solenoid. Uh, starter side of the solenoid. It's a simple way to test it out. Uh, you just need a couple test wires to do it. Make sure you don't touch your positive and negative. It'll spark. And uh, that's all there is to it, guys. Test out these solenoids before you go spend the money on a new one. If this mower needs a new one. I'm going to order it up. But this is a sample of a bad solenoid and how to test it. Hope this helps you out, guys. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, it's Tepco Psych Repair.